Why do I smoke a pipe? One of the reasons is it looks really cool to smoke a pipe, but on a deeper level, I'm inspired by the fact that a pipe really enables a lot of the things that I've talked about on my channel, such as contemplation and entering into the eternal now of God. We live in a day and age where everything is very fast paced, everything moves at the speed of light, and you're constantly moving from this, this future to the past, future to the past, without any real ability to kind of enter into a sense of rest, a sense of still. And what I've found is I, I, I struggle with distractibility. Um, and because I struggle with distractibility, it's always difficult for me to really, really slow myself down to focus. Sometimes when I'm reading, my mind is wandering and I'm all over the place. Sometimes I'm trying to get a task done and I start thinking about a bunch of other things that I'd like to get done and lose track of the task that I'm trying to get done. And so one of the things that a pipe has helped me with is it's helped me to really be present in the moment. It's a really uh, contemplative pattern, behavior, activity, whatever you want to call it. And as Christians, we are called to contemplate God. We're called to be still and know that he is God. And there is something symbolic about smoke ascending up, smoke rising up. This is why we use things like incense in worship. Because you have this incense and the ascension of the incense symbolizes our prayers that rise up before the throne of God. And so as I try to bring myself in just a day-to-day -day life into the presence of God, into a contemplation of him, when I light up a pipe, what it does is it enables me to sit down in a very contemplative activity with the symbol of smoke ascending. And so as I puff on a pipe, and I watch the smoke, my eyes are lifted up. They really are. They're lifted into the heavens. And so I think that pipe smoking, there is a parallel between it and the Christian act of contemplation. And one of the reasons that I think this is true is when you look through history at some of the greatest thinkers, some of the greatest uh, people who really did contemplate deeply, people like C.S. Lewis or G.K. Chesterton, you see that these men smoked. They smoked pipes, they smoked cigars. And these kinds of activities, unlike a cigarette, force you to slow down, force you to be present in a moment, force you to contemplate. And so some people have said, Jonah, you know, you, you, you look like you're just trying to be cool. I am trying to be cool. I'll admit that readily. But beyond that, I do think that there's a beauty in pipe smoking that enables a, a sense of contemplation that sometimes you wouldn't otherwise have. And one of the things that I, that I think is really important to consider is the fact that we're embodied creatures. And I've talked about this before. If we have a sacramental worldview, we recognize that matter matters, that God, by becoming flesh, reclaimed matter as meaning something, as, as actually having a parallel, a connection, a sacramental participation in heavenly realities. And so when I look at things like bread and wine, I don't just see bread and wine. I see the potential for the Eucharist, right? Bread and wine somehow become the body and blood of Christ through sacramental participation. Water is no longer just water. Water can be used for anointing. Water can be used for baptism. Water can be used for many purposes uh, within the church as a true sacrament where heaven and earth touch down, where something real and spiritual takes place. And so we have these signs, these sacramental signs that convey a true spiritual reality and I think a pipe is no different. It is a sacramental sign of contemplation and allowing your thoughts and your mind to ascend towards the throne of heaven. And so when I sit down with a pipe, it's not simply an activity that I'm doing just to relax. It's an actual means by which I have a visible 
demonstration, if you will, that brings my mind and elevates my mind towards that which I'm seeking to contemplate. And so I recommend smoking a pipe. I think it's a good pattern of life. I think it's a good and healthy habit. And obviously there are health concerns with smoking, but all things in moderation. Don't be puffing on a pipe every second of every day. Have it pulled out for special occasions. Have it pulled out for a moment of contemplation and recognize that those are times where we truly enter into the presence of God in, in a very special way. And I think it enables us to do that um, more so than, than other activities. So that's why I smoke a pipe. Hope that's helpful. Talk to you guys later.